One of this country's most decorated Olympians is taking legal action to leave Team Canada and compete for the United States. The move by Kaylee Humphreys comes more than a year after the two-time gold medalist filed a harassment complaint with Bobsleigh Canada. Humphreys is suing the sports governing body for blocking her release and for breaching its code of conduct for athletes and coaches. She says she can no longer wait for Bobsleigh Canada to complete its investigation into her complaint because she needs to begin training with Team USA. Humphreys is marrying an American on Saturday, which qualifies her to compete for the United States. We're going to get more on this from the CBC's uh, Scott Russell. He joins us now. He's the host of Road to the Olympic Games. He is live in Calgary, where Kaylee Humphreys used to train. Hey, Scott, how big of a blow is this to Bobsleigh Canada and the country? Well, well, there's no question that uh, Kaylee Humphreys is the face of the sport in Canada. I mean, you mentioned the fact that she's a two-time Olympic champion, three-time Olympic medalist. She's won a couple of world championships. And she's the first female bobsleigh athlete to win the Lumars Trophy as Canada's Athlete of the Year, which she did in 2014. She's also been very vocal about women's rights in the sport of bobsleigh and piloted a mixed-gender sled on the World Cup. And uh, that's been incredibly important to her reputation and how she's seen by young Canadian athletes. So I, I think they're losing a very public figure and someone who's performed extremely well on the international stage. And so her role as a leader extended beyond the bobsleigh track. Uh, what did she bring to amateur sports in Canada? Well, I, I think she was a, a very powerful image. Uh, particularly for young women in the country. I mean, uh, here was someone who uh, carried the flag for Canada at the closing ceremony of the Sochi Games in 2014 and who was very vocal about the fact that why weren't there four women sleds in world championship competition? Now, she got a four women sled into the World Cup as a demonstration event and have plans to continue that fight to get four women in a sled uh, on the Olympic stage. So I think her role in leading the way, being very vocal about uh, the rights of women and gender equity in sport in general in the country uh, was a very important one. Yeah, and so what's the American team gaining here? What's Kaylee Humphreys going to bring to the U.S.? Well, she's obviously going to bring a tremendous uh, competitive spirit and uh, amount of reputation and, and all of that that goes along with what she's done uh, vocally and publicly uh, with regard to the rights of women in bobsleigh. Uh, but they have their hands full. Uh, she, she demands a great deal of attention. And you have to remember that uh, Kaylee Humphreys uh, did have great performance and has had great performance over the course of her career. But much of the credit for that performance has to go to her brakeman. People like uh, Heather Moyce and Jenny Cicchetti, who she won a world championship with. Uh, Felicia George, who pushed her to a bronze medal in Pyeongchang at the Olympics. You know, Kelly Humphreys didn't do this all on her own. She had people behind her. And uh, so the United States is gaining uh, a tremendously uh, popular and vocal figure, one who can perform, but also one who demands a lot of attention. And as you say, demanding a lot of attention and, and going through something here, Scott, this is exclusive details that we're hearing from Kaylee Humphreys. How is she handling all of this? Well, I mean, I think she's uh, obviously a fighter, believes that she uh, is right in what she's doing. Um, she believes, uh, you know, she, she's been very strong uh, vocally in the anti-bullying campaign, uh, spoke about uh, being bullied uh, early in her career. Um, I, I, I think, uh, you know, she believes that uh, she is in the right in this situation. It, it's it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. All right, Scott, thank you for this. Thanks so much. Scott Russell, the host of CBC Sports Road to the Olympic Games, joining us live from Calgary.